piloting our rescue helicopter. Ah. <laughs> we have, I'm going to have to come in close. Yeah, we we're way above it. Okay, we have Lieutenant Kim Kerman, who is our rescue officer, and she comes along with this contract to, oh, 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 we have found Lieutenant Alec P. Kerman, he is still alive. Let's start decreasing our throttle and start heading down here. Uh, and we'll do this. And a lot of things are happening at the same time while I'm trying to introduce what's going on. Uh, that's probably not the bestest of things. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. We got, we got this. We got this. Okay, so this is a rescue contract that comes with uh, giving aircraft purpose and i think i need to decrease oh that's turning the let's turn the throttle right off for now um and we get a rescue officer lieutenant kim kerman and if we can pick up lieutenant alec p kerman we actually get two because you get to keep lieutenant kim okay we are starting to go down so i do want to watch my vertical speed my vertical speed's not bad where is it here no it's not bad at all a little bit more throttle i have changed around the controls on um, my helicopter. Last time you saw this helicopter, I had the throttle on I and K and the deploy angle of the blades on uh, the, the shift and control keys. I have that now the other way around and it is much, much, much better. Okay, let's reduce our throttle and start trying to get down here. So we got to land down here with Lieutenant Kim. We're about 15 kilometers from, oh, 20 kilometers from the KSC. So I started this journey um, figuring that people didn't want to spend the first 10 minutes or so. We're, yeah, we're 11 minutes into this. Um, just watching me still need to come down. Let's decrease that deploy angle a bit. A little more. Our vertical speed is... No, it's now decreasing again. Okay. But we need to come down, land, pick pick up Alec P. Now, the contract says I also need to return him back to the KSC. But if you look really closely, there's already a section of this that's red. I have already failed this thing. We are still going down? Yes, we are. Um, you know, let's put on cap lock. That'll give me better control. Yep. Yeah. Uh, because it says to have at least two passenger seats, and I interpreted that as two seats, but it actually means a pilot and then two more seats, which quite frankly kind of does make sense. So um, I'll have to redesign this whole helicopter, but you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take the losses on this contract for failing it. I'm just going to pick up my Kerbal and call it a day and call it a win. What is our vertical speed? It is still, it's positive for goodness sakes, but it's going negative, okay. The, what change, I made some changes, other changes to this thing as well. I have scienced it up. We got a goo, we got uh, a Geiger counter, we've got um, pressure gauge, and underneath here I have a materials bay, and it's all set to collect science once we are splashed down because I don't have a, all that science splashed down. And all of a sudden, I was sort of realizing that, um, let's get a little less throttle. Uh, I was sort of realizing that, and a little less on the deploy angle. Uh, I was just realizing I've never really landed a craft in the water other than pods that have come down on descents from, from Kerbin orbit. But those, those, of course, have never really had much science on them. I've always sort of left the science behind. Okay, and we're coming down here. So what I'm going to do is we will pick up Alec P down there. Um, I'm going to eat this loss, and then we're going to recover. And by the way, don't I did not forget about the Minmus 2. Those are my three landers on their way to Minmus. If you look at alarm clock here, they do have a mid-course correction, which we set up at the end of the last stream. It's coming up in a day and two hours. But I thought I'd get this out of the way first. Well... There is a limited time you have. You can see here, I got a rescue. I only got three hours and 54 minutes left on this contract. They do expect you to actually perform the rescue within a day of picking up the contract. So you got to sort of be ready for that. 
Wow, this is a lot of... Uh, let's see, we're, we're still going down. Our, our vertical speed is increasing, so I do want to be co uh, cognizant of that. <laughs> so as soon as this is done, we will... We will head back into space. We will do... I need a bit more throttle, I think. Oh no, we're okay. We're going to head back into space. And... Uh, just backing up a little bit so we'll get pretty close to him. Get to the Minmus 2. Do those three landings on Minmus. Which should hopefully... Which should finish off the... Minmus program contract and then it also net me a whole bunch of science and then the plan is after that let's get rid of this um to the plan is after that to uh to uh get into getting more kerbals into space that's sort of going to be the plan and by the way these contracts these they're called coast guard contracts come in two varieties there's this one which is doing a sea rescue, which is the easier of the two. And then there's another one where they put kerbals on the very tops of these mountains and you got to go rescue those kerbals. Uh, they're obviously trickier, but I did take this helicopter between the two streams and I did manage without too much difficulty landing it right on the peak. I can't, I th think it was this one over here, right on the very, very top. And it worked pretty good. So uh, I think I might uh, pick up that contract at some future date. Still not going down. It's just cut torque. But uh, I need to get this one out of the way first. So we're still half a kilometer up. Come on. <laughs> okay here we go I'm not having much opportunity to engage with the chat because this does take a lot of concentration but I'm more and more enjoying this helicopter I just need to design a whole new one now that has more passenger seats um, but I'll design it probably using these same principles What would make good passenger seats, I think, are the uh, command seats, which I've yet to unlock. But I suspect I'll be unlocking those very, very soon. I'll make sure I don't put this right on top of uh, Alec down there. That would be not a good rescue to actually land on top of them. Actually, my rate of descent is pretty good. It's it's. But about getting close to about negative two meters per second, which I think is all right. And I'm just controlling which way I'm going by just pitching and rolling. And then once we're down, we'll get a bunch of science too. Okay, still got a ways down. It's for, for higher up than I think we are. <laughs> This way. Okay. You think, oh, John, I just noticed in the, in says I should be okay with 12 meters per second. I think he's suggesting a descent speed of that. It's my ability to, there, I got the throttle off again. I should actually decrease that deploy angle even more. Let's 
go this way. Now looking at it from the back of the craft, which always gets my control scheme backwards. Okay, there, I think we're pretty close to being right on top of them. Oh, we're going up again, for goodness sakes. Let's just fall for a little bit. Thing is, when I fall, I don't think I have a lot of control either. So that's that's the other thing. So I got to be careful. It's easy for this to get out of control really quick. As I amply demonstrated with the protocopter a couple of streams ago when I was designing this thing. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, a, I don't know. This is taking a long time. <laughs> Seaplane is another idea to do with this. But getting there. Decrease that ploy angle just a little bit more. All right. Come on. A little more on the deploy angle. The deploy angle's barely anything. It's like one degree and I've been hitting it down. You don't, it'd be nice if they showed some decimal points on that. Okay, we're going down again. Okay. I think I'm going way too cautiously. I went down. There. You can see my torque limiter is really low as well. To be honest, I might have blades that are just too big. But I'll tell you, when I was at the altitude of the top of those mountains, having those big blades was really helpful in the thinner air. Straight down, come on. And, you know, even if this contract wasn't borked, I still would just recover after this. Here we go. Here we go. Right. A little less on the deploy angle again. Oh, the deploy angle actually says zero now. I don't like that. Deploy angle actually says zero, but I think it's just a teeny little bit. Okay, I gotta be careful not to land on them. I think I've said that. <laughs> Let's rotate this way a little bit. So we can come in beside them. Of course, you can swim. It's not like I have to uh, go a little this way. I think I can actually see them. Mm -hmm. I can see them there. I don't know it's a him. We can't go by the names. The names are uh, the names that I'm assigning are Patreon names, Patreon names. But I do not know the genders of the Kerbals when I assign the names. So just because it's Alec doesn't mean. Okay, we're there. We're almost there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Break. Am I just create? 
Why is he under the water? Okay, just hang on. Break this. Okay, let's deploy the lad. He's under the water. Is this going to be okay? Okay, let's do... I should have ladder deploys. I thought I had that on an action group, but I was hidden. Oh, maybe... It, okay, whatever. I'm just going to do it that way. Okay, let's... Up! How do you go up? Um, this is an issue. Can I do this? Is he going up? No, he's going down. Oh, this is redonkulous. That goes down. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's actually going down and I don't see a way to get him to go up. No, he's still going down. Okay, can I recover? I'm going to recover. I'm sorry. Oh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. I don't care. I'm not going to let him just kind of... <laughs> okay, fine. Alec P. Kerman is part of our crew. And somewhere along there, there's our helicopter. And we will recover our helicopter. <laughs> oh, shoot. I forgot. Uh, okay, I'll collect this. I forgot about all the science I was to collect. Okay, I'll do that on my own time sometime. Uh, I already started collecting science, but only got little bits of it. Oh, well. I got, I got, I got confused. What else is new?